Hello everyone, Zen Gaming here, and welcome once again to Besiege. Now today I have some creations I wanted to share with you. I've got a plane. And this is the standard version of the plane. And basically the standard version of the plane has a rudder, which allows it to yaw. And it has elevators at the back that allow it to pitch. Now I do have another version in a minute that I'll show you that can roll as well. But I thought I'd show you this one first. So basically if you're having trouble flying a plane I thought this would be a good way to help you. So basically I've got the key to a plane is A getting the right amount of lift in the right place. So you kind of want the wings to be just ahead of the centre of mass. The centre of mass being here. So the wings are here, so they're just ahead of it, which because if it was in the middle, then it would cause it to stall. Okay. So there, then we've got the elevators. This is allow you to pitch or go up and down. It's vital for taking off and whatever. And if you don't have roll, pit, the elevators are also vital for turning as well, as well as the rudder. And we have these, I don't know what they're called. Um flying blocks at the front and they are set to their normal flying speed and I have rebound these to different keys to make it easier also you don't have to do this but I have made it so the front wheels lift the top up a bit like a Spitfire it just makes taking off a lot easier um, and low speed aircraft like prop aircraft and everything you are usually always like this well they used to be anyway um, and then we've got these flight these uh, wings here so basically the way that these turn is we've got steering blocks here and here that turn the elevators they're bound to the same keys so you can't turn one without the other and then you've got a wheel at the back that does this now the reason I put the wheel speed low is because you want to be only using a tiny bit of the rudder if you use it too much you're just gonna fling out it's worth mentioning it is incredibly hard to control planes in this game so I may crash a few times even though I've kind of got the hang of flying this it's still pretty hard so if we drop it down you can see we've got the rudder here like that and then we've got the elevators like that and if you want to if you're taking off you want to be pointing them down about that much and you want to keep them down until you are airborne and by airborne I don't mean like just off the ground I mean when if you're actually like in properly in the air because if you rise them too quickly then you're gonna nosedive if you don't have enough speed and also you don't want to be doing that unless you want to pitch down and you only want to be doing that for a split second with this design anyway okay so let me just reset this so the rudders in the right place so I'm gonna put the elevators down slightly put them back up like that and here we go we're flying turn the rudder slightly now as I said this version I'm this version I made does not have roll I have another version that does but it still works pretty well I mean look I'm just cruising around and it works a bit like a glider so you can go up and down up and down although you can find sweet spots like this Although, it's worth mentioning, if you go too fast, which can happen with this if you stay in the air long enough, um, the game does glitch out a bit and you do break apart. <laughs> and, uh, okay, I've crashed it. But yeah, very, very easy to fly. Very, very easy to fly. I think I've got another version in here. Now, this is a lot harder to take off. Oh no, not this one, sorry. Um, this one? This is a lot harder to take off because it's got a cannon on the front. And you're probably thinking, the amount of weight that a cannon weighs is going to probably affect its performance a lot. And to be honest, once it's in the air, it's fine. It's just taking off is quite a bit harder. So you want to be putting these into the normal position like this. You don't want to put them too far because then they're going to start to air break you. Like that, you'll start to slow down. So you want to have them just like that. And then when you've got enough speed, that's when you want to increase the angle. It is very hard to take this off, though. Okay, I think I've mocked it up here. Oh, no, here we go. Come on. 
Yeah, sometimes it does actually need the edge of the runway to allow it to take off. Um, runway? Uh, map, even? I think I have completely gone off the map now. Okay, let's do that again. Because I messed around a bit at the beginning. Okay, come on. No, the rudder's gone a bit. See, that's the thing with this game. This game's got very good physics, but it does different things every time. So the rudder started moving a bit there. Um, come on, take off. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is, just for the sake of time, I'm going to give it a bit more speed. And I, I give my word, this does actually work with the setup I have, but it's just being difficult. Okay, so we've got a bit of extra speed now, and there we go. Oh god, no. Okay, there we go. So, it flies a lot like the other plane, it's just you've got to be a lot stronger on the takeoff because of the added weight. And then... Boom! I missed everything there, but you can see it can fire um, and stay airborne, although it's going into a bit of a... Ah, no. <laughs> yeah, and I, it is very, very hard to hit things with that. Um, but I'll give it another go anyway. I mean, why not? Oh, a bit too far there. Almost stalled. Okay, see if we can hit something. Oh, almost hit some guys. Oh, well. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, so now quickly, I want to show you the other one. Okay, so this one has roll. And I'll just put it on the ground to show you. So it has the normal kind of elevator controls, rudder controls, like that. But then up down to different keys, you actually have ailerons. And ailerons allow you to roll. Now, I've actually got these bound to these are on 7 and 4 on the numpad, and this is on 9 and 6. So you have, they, if you want to, you know, if you want some extra lift, then you can use them both together. Um, or if you want to air brake. Uh, but say if you wanted to turn, if you wanted to turn left, if you wanted to roll left, I think. Oh uh, god, it confuses me every time. I'm pressing 9 and 4 for this, and then 7 and 6 for the opposite direction. The problem is, is that if you accidentally press one without the other, then they go out of alignment. And that is when you can get some bad problems. <laughs> That's one of the limitations of this design. I've been kind of experimenting with some ways to make it return to its original position but not much luck also this current design because of the way that the because of the aerodynamics of the added kind of wings at a weird angle taking off can be extremely difficult so i usually put it in the air to begin with um because then you've kind of got a runway already made in the sky so, same controls I'm using, but <laughs> it will probably go wrong, because this is quite hard to... It's easy to roll, but then it's easy to get yourself back into a stable flight pattern, which you'll see. So, I'm going to do the normal kind of thing here. Then I'm going to roll. Oh, no. Okay. I killed a sheep. <laughs> killed two sheep. Right, let's do that again. So, let's get into a stable flight. Let's roll, turn to normal, there we go, no I rolled the wrong way, <laughs> so as you can see it's very difficult, that's the thing with this game, you, the, 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 the limitations are simply your own brain, oh god, <laughs> oh it was going perfect until that happened, <laughs> and because of the amount of controls I'm having to use I can't actually turn the camera whilst I'm flying and one thing you might have just seen there, oh, okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, the rudder is very temperamental. Since this has no resistance to it, the wheel, because I couldn't find a way to give it resistance, I tried with some elastics and all sorts, but I couldn't. Sometimes, if it, if you start to drift, um, 
then the rudder will start to get so much air resistance that it will actually turn on its own and when that happens you either have to correct it really quickly which is difficult even coming from someone who's played a lot of flight sim games or you're just going to crash um, but I'm, I'm quite pleased with this because I, I set out I was like right I'm going to make a plane that can roll and I did um, uh, albeit just a bit hard to fly And, yeah, as I said, the biggest issue with this design is the human element. Because I'm having to push keys to... Contr two keys for this one, two keys for that one. A key for all of these on... To, uh, and two keys for these. And a key for that, key for that. It's There's a lot of keys to use. I mean, I'm using both hands in the numpad section at the moment. So, <laughs> it's it's very... Ah, oh, that almost went beautifully. One more go, just for sake of demonstration. Barrel roll, barrel roll, barrel roll. Okay, okay, no barrel roll. It survived. Let's see, should I see if I can land it? Ah, well, <laughs> not not that great. Okay, so I've been Zen Gaming. If you enjoyed this video, a like or a subscribe would be much appreciated. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to comment or send me a message through YouTube or Twitter. And if you wanted me to do more Besiege or have any challenges for me to do in Besiege, then put them in the comment section and I'll try and build whatever you challenge me to build. Because I love this game. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.